This episode was made possible by Wix. Build your own professional website with Wix by following the link in the description. Humans are pretty good at figuring out how to make more money. It's what drives our society. Since the Industrial Revolution, we've put countless hours of research and testing into developing newer, more efficient, and more profitable ways of getting our jobs done. From production lines, to robotic arms, to complete automation of processes, it's easy to think that we've just about reached the fullest potential of efficient manufacturing. But, as always, a few enterprising organizations and individuals have decided that's not good enough. We may have started to realize diminishing returns on Earth, but the completely different environment of outer space still has mountains of untapped potential. Things that we struggle with on Earth, handling the toxic byproducts of certain industries, wasting huge amounts of water to disperse heat, all of these things become non-issues in the vacuum of space. If we can master this new environment and mitigate the risk involved with working in space, the future of industry could look vastly different than it does today. Consider fiber optic cable, for example the technology responsible for high-speed data transfer and long-distance telecommunication. Some exotic forms of fiber optics, such as ZBLAN, are plagued by gravity. These cables can be made on Earth, but it's tricky and the results can be poor. Besides length limitations, gravity causes inconsistencies in the crystalline structure of ZBLAN, making for a weaker signal. There's a huge opportunity for businesses to improve this process, because higher quality ZBLAN is incredibly valuable. The purest examples can fetch over a million dollars per kilogram, the solution? Luggage-sized, self-contained drop towers designed to be launched into space to take advantage of the microgravity environment aboard the ISS. These contraptions spool the ZBLAN around inside, and since far greater amounts of starter material can be used in low-gravity environments, these devices could theoretically spool hundreds of kilometers of ZBLAN per day. That's how you make a profit back on Earth. But the possibilities don't stop at profit-driven ventures. The microgravity environment of the ISS is also perfectly suited for more humanitarian endeavors. Our medical science has made great strides in stem cell technology and biological 3D printing in recent years. Our successes have been so significant that we are on the cusp of being able to print entire functioning hearts from a patient's own stem cells, which would offer the huge benefit of the organ not being rejected by the host body and the patient not being required to take immunosuppressants for the rest of their life. As with fiber optics, the main challenge is gravity. In order to build heart tissue, the nutrient and stem cell mixture within the bioinks used in printing needs to be a very liquid consistency. There's no way to achieve this on Earth, at least not without some form of scaffolding to support the ink, and scientists have yet to figure out a way to remove the scaffolding without damaging the completed organ. Printing in space, however, changes the game completely. On Earth, 3D printers aren't really 3D. They print by stacking two-dimensional layers of material on top of each other, which is very time-consuming. In space, with their specially designed 3D printers, the speed is improved by up to 100 times. In a recent test, a 3D printed human heart lost about half its height when gravity was restored almost immediately after printing. Allowed more time to mature aboard the ISS, a printed organ would be ready for use on Earth about 45 days after printing. This technology will revolutionize the medical industry, with patients receiving organs made from their own stem cells with no chance of immune rejection, and without having to wait months or years for a suitable organ donation. Another application that could be both hugely profitable and beneficial to both the general population and the Earth as a whole would be manufacturing super-efficient solar panels in microgravity environments. Gallium arsenide is a much better conductor of solar energy than the common silicon-based panels we see today, at around 40% efficiency versus 15-20%. to The only problem is, manufacturing these panels produces many toxic byproducts, such as arsenic. Back in the 1990s, a University of Houston scientist made the first gallium arsenide semiconductor in space. The resulting product was 10,000 times better in quality than its Earth-made counterparts. Thanks to the vacuum of space, the compound could be grown in neat layers just one atom high, and thousands of these layers stacked on top of each other result in a defect-free product, massively increasing solar efficiency, up to a theoretical 60%. If we assembled these solar panels in space and placed giant kilometer-wide arrays in orbit so they're always facing the sun, we could beam huge amounts of solar energy down to facilities on Earth. The vacuum of space would completely negate the risk of toxic byproducts harming humans or the planet. And if implemented on a large scale, we'd have more solar energy than we knew what to do with. One final application that would significantly reduce the amount of wasted water on Earth would be manufacturing microchips in the freezing conditions of space. According to expert estimates, making a single 12-inch integrated circuit requires 2,200 gallons of water for the cleaning and cooling process. In 2015, we made 900 billion of them. You do the math. If we move the chip manufacturing industry off the planet and into the void of space, you'd completely negate that massive waste of water. 
Parts and products could be kept at a constant low temperature, reducing costs and environmental hazards. These are just a few of the potential changes we'll likely see in the near future. As space becomes more commercialized and the cost of launching materials into orbit becomes less and less expensive, we'll see a boom in new technologies, methods of production that make our current means look primitive. Businesses can look forward to increased profits, entire new industries will spring up, we'll reduce our negative impact on the environment, and the general population will benefit from new, higher quality products and an abundance of clean energy. We're on the verge of a new industrial revolution, and there's a lot to look forward to. If you're planning on being the next big name in space manufacturing, you'll need a professional website to show everybody how great you are. Why not start your empire today with a shiny new website from Wix? With Wix, you can build amazing professional websites for just about any application. Whether you want to host videos, share your photo gallery, book clients, sell products, or just about anything else you could ever want. Whether you need a professional website for your own personal use, or for e-commerce, music, hotels, or restaurants, Wix does all the heavy lifting, like hosting, custom domains, email marketing, and more, allowing you to focus on the creative side of things. You have total creative freedom over your websites, allowing for limitless possibilities. And you don't even have to be a web designer. Wix caters to everyone, regardless of skill level whether you're a novice, business owner, or a seasoned website builder. So if you want to build your very own professional website, visit Wix by following the link below. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and clicking that little bell to stay up to date on the latest videos. If you're not sure what to watch next, check out these playlists full of other great content. As always, thanks for watching and supporting Second Thought, and we'll see you next week.